The Dutch government recently said that the threat level to the Netherlands from Islamic terrorists is substantial. And it also says it's because of this man, Gert Wilders. Wilders is a member of the Dutch parliament and the founder of the Freedom Party. He is an atheist who defends Judeo-Christian civilization and has attacked Islam for years, even calling Islamic culture retarded. But it was his short film Fitna this year about the violence in the Quran that put him squarely in the crosshairs of terrorists. A lot of Muslims in the world would like to kill Gert Wilders. He's lived for the past four years under state protection, with a death threat over his head, and with a number of Islamic nations around the world wanting to put him on trial for blasphemy. And because of the tight security around Wilders, we were only able to film him in an interview setting. What was the purpose of the film Fitna? Our uh, country in the Netherlands, um, as many other European countries, is based on Christianity, is based on Judaism, is even based on humanism, but not uh, uh, on Islam. And this is what I wanted to show people, not by using actors, but by using real images and real verses uh, from the Quran, uh, that the Quran is not just an old book from um, 1500 years ago. It's a, it's a book um, that is still very alive uh, today, and people get a lot of wrong incentives from it today. So I wanted to wrong uh, the people, and, and I was quite successful, whatever you may think about uh, Fitna in the Netherlands. More than 3 million people watched it uh, after 24 hours, and worldwide more than 20 million people watched it after two weeks. I'm sure that people who've watched you provoke Muslims over the years wonder if you have a death wish. Are you secretly daring Muslims to try to kill you? No, and I'm not even provoking uh, them, um, as you uh, said. I try to uh, warn the people in the Netherlands, and maybe even abroad in Western societies, about the actual danger that um, Islam brings um, to our society and to our freedom. Do you believe that a moderate or democratic Islam can exist? No, I don't believe in it. I think there is no European Islam, there is no moderate Islam. Islam is, a, as I see it, a fascist ideology full of hatred, submission, um, and anything else that we, uh, we should fight against. However, I make a distinction between the ideology, I believe Islam is more an ideology than a religion, and the people, there are of course uh, people, Muslims, I have nothing against Muslims, who are uh, not terrorists, who are um, um, the majority of the Muslims in my country, um, are law-abiding people, are not terrorists at all. I've heard you call Islamic culture retarded. It, it is a culture of backwardness, of retardedness, of barbarism. You've been called a racist, do you believe in the superiority of whites? No, of course not. I'm not a racist. I'm, I'm not even in contact with countries like, first parties like the British National Party who believe in black and white. I'm a Democrat, um, from full stop. In your speech to the parliament a few days ago, you referred to Muslim colonists. What did you mean? Well, people um, um, that are coming to the Netherlands to stir up problems or who are in the Netherlands, uh, sometimes they are even born in the Netherlands, the younger generation and the, their parents or the grandparents were born here, and they are not here to integrate, but to dominate. And they, 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 they don't give them, excuse my words, for um, um, all the criticism and all the culture that we have in the Netherlands today. That's why I call them colonists. There are people living here from Morocco for 30 years who don't speak one word of Dutch. So you see Islam growing, you see a government that you believe doesn't care enough where is the Netherlands headed on this issue? The biggest problem we face today is that the uh, dominant uh, political culture is one of cultural relativism. Most of the um, uh, political elite and political parties believe, really do believe in cultural relativism, really do believe that all cultures are equal. Whereas I believe they are not equal. I believe the, uh, the Christian and the Judaism culture is, 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 is far better, and I'm not ashamed to say it. And, I'm not a racist uh, to say that the Christian culture is a better one than the Islamic culture. There's an enormous gap between the, the, the political elite and the Vox Populi. And they see that our country is changing. They see in their streets, um, in their neighborhoods, um, in their cities, in their villages, they see that it's, it's, it's often not the Netherlands anymore. They feel that they live in little Morocco or little uh, Turkey. We have an Isla Islamic intifada today. I'm not exaggerating. In many, many cities and villages of the Netherlands, this is the problem. And the government um, looks uh, in the other direction and ignores it, it, puts it under the carpet, all the problems. Are you tired of living with a death threat over your head? 
Well, not tired, but sometimes, um, uh, uh, not sometimes. Oh, I wish I didn't have it. And uh, I'm not exaggerating if I say that I lost my freedom. I mean, I, I lived in, in prison cells for half a year in army barracks. I moved to places. And, uh, my life changes a lot and I can manage uh, because uh, people don't have to have sympathy with me because I have, I feel I have a mission. My mission is very strong and I really believe in it. And I, I know that if we really don't get a sense of urgency and act and defend our culture, defend our freedom, that um, um, it's too late.